All right, well, I have a new and interesting uh, homemade uh, battery, or cell. And um, it's just a galvanic, but it's an interesting galvanic. It's uh, copper and zinc. This is a marine uh, anode zinc that you put on the boats to keep the, the precious metals from dissolving in the salt water. And it's a sacrificial uh, zinc anode. And this is a copper bowl that I picked up at a 99 cent store. Or actually, it's a Salvation Army store I got this one at. It was a dollar, dollar and a half. But these things right here, this is what makes it really, really interesting. These are floral um, water absorbent polymer balls. And that's all that's in there. And that's making this uh, pulse motor go here with the LED. And it puts out about, um, I don't know, about eight tenths of a volt is all, but it's got pretty good, uh, pretty good amperage. It's in the milliamps, uh, of course, but uh, pretty decent. But these are the, the magic balls here, and uh, they're a floral decorative accent ball, what they call these. And uh, I got a bottle of these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree store. And then they had these at the 99 cent store, which are the little balls before they are absorbed in the water. And uh, you just put them in a glass of water and let the water expand into the polymer ball, and it holds the water. And uh, that's all that's in there. Distilled water um, is what you're supposed to use. I went ahead and used tap water just to try this out. But I've been running this thing for um, several days, uh, different, uh, different loads on it and then taking it apart and looking at the zinc. And it, um, it's very efficient. That's all I can say. I'm, I'm not going to stick my neck out and say it's nothing but galvanic or something more than galvanic. But it's very efficient. And I'm not building up any sort of a barrier layer on the anode and cathode uh, to stop it. It seems to run quite well. And uh, you just add water from time to time to keep these balls hydrated. And uh, it works, and it, it works uh, quite well. It puts out a consistent, uh, a consistent amount of power. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with the people. That's my new, uh, new cell. Now this little motor here is the self-start pulse motor that normally runs on a solar cell. And I think what I'm going to do is just leave this uh, all hooked up like this. And uh, this works when there's a certain amount of light that hits that solar cell. And I have it someplace in the house where it'll run for a while, then it'll stop. And I'm just going to see what happens if I let these, uh, these things work together and uh, work in a combo thing. So anyway, that's my latest little uh, discovery is uh, the polymer water absorbent ball. Thanks for watching.